Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you how to build something called a Slayer Exciter. A Slayer Exciter can light bulbs like this using wireless energy. So, let's get started. This is the schematic for my Slayer Exciter. This coil right here is my 1200 turn coil that I showed how to make in a previous video. This coil is a 4 turn coil. What happens is when you apply 18 volts to the positive, the voltage thro flows through this 30k resistor into the base of the transistor, turning it on. When this turns on, it makes a current flow through this first primary coil, which induces a current in the secondary coil, turning off the transistor, because it's a negative voltage. Then what will happen is the transistor will turn off, the current will flow again from the positive into the base, and it will turn on again in a repeating cycle. This diode is here just to protect the base of the transistor from over voltage. This is my actual circuit layout. I didn't use any kind of proto board because it uses so few components that I could just easily solder them together in point to point soldering. This is the transistor, which is mounted on a heatsink. This is my diode, and this is my resistor. This is the primary coil, and this is the secondary coil that I showed how to make in the previous video. This pie tin was placed on top to add parasitic capacitance to this coil, so that way it would oscillate. As you can see, when this oscilloscope is hooked up to my Slayer Exciter, you can see that the Slayer Exciter is operating at 380 kilohertz. That is the resonant frequency created by this top load capacitor and this coil. Always remember to keep important electronic devices away from the Slayer Exciter, because it interferes with them. The Slayer Exciter can do some pretty cool things when it's running, such as taking this CFL light bulb and lighting it up completely when it's near the Slayer Exciter. It can also light various other things, such as this neon light bulb. It can also light things, such as this xenon light bulb. The Slayer Exciter can also light LED light bulbs and you can use it to create some fairly large sparks. As you can see, if I have a light bulb near it, and I activate the sparks, it dims the light bulb. Another cool thing about the Slayer Exciter is that if you put your hand in between the light bulb and the exciter, it blocks the energy field and turns it off. Now what this is doing is this is creating a high frequency uh, electromagnetic field of radio waves and what this does is it excites the electrons inside this CFL and when these electrons are excited they move around very quickly and they bump into the phosphors on the glass causing it to illuminate. You can also touch this layer exciter with your bare skin but it will slightly hurt. This is because it doesn't shock you, but it burns your skin. Because the radio frequency is so high here that it just goes through the outer layer of your skin and it doesn't actually go through your vital organs. But it is enough to vaporize the little bit of skin the electrons hit. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.